Do you want to learn how to make a slideshow for Facebook ads? In this video, I'm going to walk you through a quick and easy way to create a high quality slideshow that you can use for your Facebook ad campaign. And all you need are basic computer skills. Hi everybody, this is Roman Grant from Empire Vid. This channel is dedicated to giving people with no experience the resources necessary to create high quality content for their personal and business use. If this is your first time here and you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Now let's get into the video. So to make this slideshow, we're gonna be using an online video editor called InVideo. You can create your slideshow with the free plan, but you'll want to upgrade to the paid plan before you download it. Otherwise, they will put a watermark on your finished video and that won't be good for your ad. So the paid plan is very cheap to begin with, but if you use my link in the description with my coupon code, you can get an additional 40% off. Also, make sure to stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you how to access a huge library of royalty-free music that's completely free to use. So today, we're going to be making the following slideshow for a watch company to be used for a Facebook ad campaign. For this video, I'm going to assume that you are already familiar with Facebook's Ad Manager, where you edit and manage all of your ad campaigns. And you're probably already aware that you can create a slideshow directly from your business manager. But if you've ever used the business manager to create a slideshow, you know it's not very user-friendly and the features are seriously lacking. For instance, Facebook only allows you to create a slideshow that's 15 seconds long and you can't attach music to it. There's also no way to attach additional text, animations, transitions, or overlays. There's other ways that Facebook comes up short, but you get the picture. So let's go to InVideo and start creating our slideshow. Since we're going to be creating a slideshow that we're going to be using for a Facebook ad, I'm going to make it out of a blank template and I'm going to use the square one-to-one -one ratio. Now that we are in the editing platform, so this is your scene that you are currently working on where you can preview what you have already done to it. Then this is your layers panel where you can edit the different layers of your scene. And then over here is your menu where you can upload different media that you have or um, choose from the media that NVIDIA offers like different stock videos and images as well as effect overlays and music. And down here is your timeline where you can navigate between the different scenes that you are creating and also to edit the music or the voiceovers. We have one scene that we have right now and this is the preview of that scene. You can edit the scene directly from this view or you can edit it from the layers panel. Now I want to start off with a blank scene so I'm going to delete both of these layers. You just click on it and hit your delete button. So for a slideshow for a Facebook ad, you would probably want each scene to be about two seconds long. You can edit the scene time by clicking on this over here and just entering in how long you want it to be. To duplicate each scene, I would pro I'm probably going to use 10 scenes. So I'm going to click on this and duplicate this blank scene nine times. Now I have my 10 scenes ready to go. Now I'm gonna start editing. To navigate between the different scenes, you can just click on each scene. So whichever one that you have selected, that's the scene that you will be editing. If you want to move a scene, say you want this fourth scene farther back in the lineup, all you have to do is click on it and drag it down. So first off, I want to upload my pictures that I'm going to be using. So this is the part where you would upload your product pictures and any other uh, media that you want to use for this project. So to do that, you go over here to the menu and click upload. And then you would click this button to browse your computer to find the folder you want to upload. Now you just select all the images that you want and click open. 
and it will import them into your uploads folder where you can use them on any project that you're working on. So now we're going to start working on our first scene. To insert a picture, all you have to do is drag it and drop it into the scene. And you can resize it with these little buttons on the side. So now that you have your image in your scene, you can go over here to the layers panel and do different things. Like say you want to uh, resize it differently or you want it to um, have an animation. You can do all of those things over here in the layers panel. So what I want to do with this scene is I want to blur this image out and then put the same image over the top of it to create a cool effect. So to do that, I have this image selected, go over here to image edit, and then right here is the blur effect, and you just drag it to whichever level of blur you would like. And that looks good right there. Then when you select the same image, you can drag it over and then you want, it, you want to select the option add as a layer. Now you can do some resizing. Now I want to insert some text. So to do that, I would navigate over here and click on the menu option for text. So I can use plain text and then animate it myself and change the color and all that. Or I can use one of their pre-made uh, text uh, styles, which are already animated and already look great. So I would just have to basically go through and choose which one looks good. So you can resize the text by doing this, just like you can the image. You can also adjust the animation or the different style of the actual text, like the font and the color. And then to change this text here, you can either click inside the text box and edit it directly from there, or you can go over here to the layers and edit it right here. Now I can also edit the black of this text box. So that looks good for my first scene. Now I will start the second scene. I'm going to go back to my uploads and choose another picture. Now for this picture, I want to add two images to one scene. So then I'm just going to resize this image to half the screen, insert another, another image and make that the other half of the screen. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add some text. Okay, so then I now I have my second scene done. So now I'm going to go ahead and edit the rest of my scenes quickly. So now that I've finished inserting all the images and text into my scenes, all I have to do now is change the background music. They have some default music that are, is already inserted, so I'm just gonna delete that. And then I've uploaded some music into my uploads folder, so I'm just going to select which one I want. So say you wanted to add an effect overlay to one of your scenes, I'm, you would just navigate over here to the uh, menu where the effect overlays are and you select which one you want. They have a lot of them and I'm gonna choose one of the confetti overlays. So for the finishing touch, 
I want to add transitions between each scene. To do that, select the little button between each scene right here. This is the transition button and it is now set to default. So if you click on it, it opens up a window of all the different transitions that you can use. So you can hover over the different transitions to see what they do. It kind of gives you a preview of what it is and then you can select which one you like. So I'm just gonna choose a few and insert them in before we render the video. Once you're done with your slideshow and you've previewed it and you like how all of the scenes look together, you can go ahead and export it by clicking on this button. So it has rendered your slideshow as an MP4, which means that it's a video and you can upload this video to your Facebook um, business manager and use it as your video ad. So this is your projects folder where all of the projects that you are currently working on and that you have already finished will be stored. So you can download these anytime you like um, from any computer as long as you have an internet connection. And that's how you create a slideshow that you can use for a Facebook ad. Now you might know this already, but slideshows aren't always the best type of ad for your business. The type of product or service that you offer will determine what kind of ad you want to create whether it be a slideshow, a video, or a single image ad. It's up to you to test different ad creatives to find out which type of ad works best for your business. And that's why InVideo is great because you can create any type of ad that you need. And we barely scratch the surface of the powerful features that InVideo offers. Once you learn the basics of this platform and begin to play around, you will find that the possibilities are limitless as to what you can create. Now, to gain access to that huge library of royalty-free music I told you about, all you have to do is go to YouTube and log in with your Gmail account. If you don't already have one, you can easily create one. Once you're logged in, you will have access to the YouTube Studio. In the YouTube Studio, click on Audio Library. Then, all of the audio you see is downloadable and completely free to use. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed yourself, hit that thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know if this is your first time creating a slideshow for a Facebook ad. And be sure to check out the rest of my channel for videos for beginners on content creation. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.